Look, it just showed up this morning. You know why? Because it's spring. Happy spring from me to you, from Lufulia Gardens to wherever you are. I love spring, as you may or may not know, because I mention it so many times. But one of the reasons is because look, this is the kind of thing that happens. You walk out and there it is. It was not here yesterday morning. So every day now I'm walking out and just making new, amazingly gorgeous discoveries of blooms and flowers and buds just bursting, which is why I think I love spring so much because I, it makes me want to burst. So I wanted to just hop on and wish you a wonderful, happy spring wherever you are. I know if you're down in Australia, it's the other way around. <laughs> but um, it's such a beautiful day and I'm going to take a walk to the post office and send off another one. This is for you, Larry. Thank you. And it's funny because the only reason I'm bringing it up is one of you messaged me about being initiated into this music and I just thought about that going, that's so interesting that he would say that. And then I realized it was 100% true because honestly, when I uh, made Dream Dance, it really was my intention to weave magic and the unseen and the mysterious throughout the whole album to give you that sense of that part of our incredibly beautiful mystical world that we live in. And this new album I'm working on, What Have I Forgotten, has so much of that in there that I've decided I need to write a book. And so I am. So now my days are split between working on finishing the final mixes of What Have I Forgotten and writing. Each song, it turns out, is part of a spiritual alchemy in a way. So the book that I'm writing that goes with the album has a chapter devoted to each song with the lyrics and the instrumentation and a story about the creation of the song as well as an essay that goes deep into the hidden meanings that are found within the lyrics and then with an exercise for you to go on a path working or your own journey to help discover some of those meanings for yourself and the inspiration for this book came to me so clearly it was kind of like when I had my inspiration for Naked Kate it was just this in like a light bulb or a lightning flash going you need to do this so I took it on and I'm also illustrating the book it's a big project <laughs> so I'm excited about it as I am about this gorgeous day that we have I have about the first three songs written and I brought on Angus McMahon, who is an outstanding writer, to help me edit it and uh, just have that outside eye, which every writer needs. So I will keep you posted on that as it progresses. I was thinking it might be nice to put, do some excerpts from it, read some things, post some things, so that you can really get an idea of what this book is all about. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I brought a chapter actually to some friends of mine who are writers and editors and publishers and I read them the whole chapter and took them through the path working journey at the end of the chapter and they had a very profound experience which really touched me because they're very intelligent and uh, informed people. So um, I'll keep you posted and happy spring. I hope you have a great day and a great week.